Okay guys, so I'm going to be unboxing the Fantex RGB kit today, and that includes LED strips and the Halo fan grills for my Silent Wing 3s in my Intel build. So let's go ahead and get started. Open this guy up. The Intel build definitely only has the RGB on the RS motherboard, as well as the EVGA video card. And it does not have the case lighting bright enough for the tinted window. That comes on the Meshify C that I have my build in. So let's see, we have the Fantex Digital RGB Starter Kit that includes the controller, uh, as well as some LED strips to get started. And then we have the Fantex Halo 140s and 120. It has the Meshify C has 140 millimeters in the front of my case and the 120 millimeter in the back. As well as I got a splitter as the controller uh, only has so many connections. Okay guys, so this is what she looks like before RGB. As you can see, you can't see much through that tinted glass window.
Okay, so to uh, go over my build notes here. So I uh, ended up ordering the wrong 140 millimeter halos. I ordered the regular RGB halos and uh, ended up buying the digital DRGB 120 millimeter. So thankfully I was able to install the 120, but I couldn't install the dual 140s, which I really was looking forward to. Uh, instead, I installed one of the RGB strips and it turned out great anyway. Um, the RGB controller itself was great as it was magnetic to the back of the case. So that made cable routing and mounting it very easy. Um, though there were a few drawbacks. My Silent Wing 3 Be Quiet fans um, actually come with silent mounts. And uh, the silent mounts do not work with Halos. So just so you know, you will have to uninstall the silent mounts and install the regular mounts um, in order to install the Halo. So I, as you probably saw in the fast forward, I had to uh, change all the mounts out on the fans in order to install the Halos. And then lastly, the RGB strip came with uh, strip 3M glue, kind of strip tape, I guess double-sided tape. It was, it was horrible. It was worse than double-sided tape. It was very hard to work with. It did not stick to the RGB strip. It just came right off. So like installing the strip was a huge pain when it shouldn't have been. Um, but other than that, I really like how it turned out. I like the backsplash on the wall from all the color. Um, coming off the strip and the Halo 120 and the controller booted up and had no configuration. It already knew that my motherboard was set for my um, current, uh, I guess, gold color, orange color scheme and uh, it just booted up with that color automatically. And uh, so overall, I'm very happy with the purchase, though I am going to uh, try to get uh, the correct 140 millimeter halos for the front and maybe do a separate video on how that looks compared to the strip. So if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And if you have any questions or anything else that you'd like to see out of my channel, please go ahead and leave it in the comments. Till next time, guys.